What's happening Dustin here with Life in a Mustang and today I'm still working on that old rear mount turbo but um, I took a gamble and I don't know if it's going to be the proper gamble. It's pretty windy. If you hear any sounds that's my metal roof in the wind. Anyway I got an EMUSA waste gate. I'm going to go ahead and open it up for you. Um, I bought some pipe. This is 1.5, one and a half inch for the dump of the waste gate. I still have to order the pipe for this, the 1.75 pipe for the wastegate. So EM USA wastegate actually feels pretty solid. What came with it. Okay, let's get to this part list. Right here is the banjos with the crushed washers that come with it. One of these banjos actually was not drilled all the way through, therefore making it unusable unless I go ahead and tap it the rest of the way through. Like I said, they're aluminum. Right here is the fire ring. Feels pretty good. I think it's going to withstand some heat. Right here is going to be your dump tube. That's 1.5 inch tubing if you're ordering tubing. Right here is for your hot side going in. That is 1.75 inch tubing. These are some springs that it came with. I think uh, the eBay said it was up to 14 PSI worth of springs. came with four springs, so I think it's a little bit more than that. And all this unit feels pretty solid. These are the things it came with. Pretty much everything you're going to need to get started. The thing actually turned out to look pretty nice inside when I took it apart. Alright guys, to take apart a wastegate and change the springs. Right here you can see that I'm pressing down on it. I take my Allen key, I got it attached, you know, Allen key on a ratchet wrench. And I'm unscrewing these, making sure I hold down pressure. Now, if those things starts popping up while you're unscrewing it, you can strip either the wastegate or the screws. They're both made of aluminum, so you don't want to cross thread these in any kind of way. You got to force it, it's not right, right? So go ahead and use a clamp to be safe. I use my hand, I held the spring down. It had a pretty decent heft of a spring in it, but I went ahead and held it down, unscrewed it, made sure that that thing did not pop up while unscrewing it. You're better off using a vise or some sort of wood clamp. Right here, I'm just keeping organized with my screws, making sure that I don't lose them. I'm checking the spring, kind of feeling the tension. I know I'm going to put the softest spring in there. I think it's a 7 PSI spring. There's that spring, throwing it in there. I went ahead and I checked for metal filings, debris, any kind. I pulled out the diaphragm, I checked the valve, and I made sure everything was good and put back in the proper place before I reinstalled everything and put that spring again. There's little grooves, you just set the spring you want down on it. Now this is where you would want to use a clamp or some sort of vice to keep that cap down while you're screwing it's very important that you do not strip out these screws that way down the line if you want to change your wastegate pressure or change your spring it's just that much easier instead of having to re-tap or buy a new one so right here you can see I'm doing it the wrong way by holding it down with my hand but it's such a soft spring that it's actually pretty easy to do it this way so I'm just using that bit tightening in them allen keys I'm getting one set on either side of this wastegate that way I can let go reposition put my other screws in and go ahead and tighten them down now yes this is a tape over because I had an audio problem that's why you'll see me talking here and nothing is going on uh, Adobe didn't want to import the audio for this one clip and uh, that was the whole point of this video so that's why it's like this anyways go right here I'm tightening them down and I'm gonna go through and snug them sometimes there is a torque specification from the manufacturer look that up go by that torque these down in a crisscross pattern just like you would anything else and there you have it your spring is changed <clears throat> today I'm gonna be going ahead and welding up uh, this dump tube this is the V band for the outlet or your your dump right here it goes on your dump to your tube right there so this is 1.5 Go ahead and have a look, a better look. So this right here is 1.5 and I'm gonna be just, uh, yeah, welding that together. I'm not gonna show you all the welding, but this fits perfect in there. So EM USA wastegate, the dump tube for the wastegate is 1.5 and uh, that should look pretty sharp. I had a tr trouble with my bank account. Uh, someone used my bank account at a racetrack in North Carolina. So therefore I don't have a debit card for the next week so I can't order any pipe, any parts, or anything. So it's a uh, cash for the week. Anyway, so I'm gonna get that welded up. I got some other stuff welded up. We'll go ahead and show you right here. Now don't laugh at me. 
<laughs> I'm still using a welder without gas, which is complete crap. And uh, I'm, I guess I'm a pretty cheap person sometimes. Anyways, these are my welds if you want to see up close and personal. It's a little thick. It's a little thick. I will say that. It's a little, the welds are thick, but it is definitely sealed. And the reason the welds are thick, <laughs> the reason these welds are so thick is because I bought, this was a Magnaflow Y pipe. I bought it off Amazon. Um, they must have had really low heat because this, this is a, um, this is pipes. This is a pipes flow tube. You can get the, just this piece from here to there for like $50. I got it on Black Friday like two years ago. So <clears throat> I'm utilizing everything I have to try to make this kit as cheap as possible and see if it actually works. And then if it does work, we're going to slap a forged motor in there and push it as far as it will go with a rear mount turbo as long as it looks cool. And yes, one day, if it does work, I will redo the piping with TIG and, and stainless and all that good stuff. Anyway, this pipe started melting because this one is a little thicker. So when I was welding, I had to zzz, zzz, zzz again. That way <clears throat> I had to build up material on this one and then put a little material on this one. Sometimes it would burn a hole in it. And when it would pop a hole, I would just rotate the pipe and go to the other side of the pipe to try to keep that temperature down. But at the same time, I needed to keep it, need to keep this pipe warm enough to weld and this pipe cold enough not to burn through. And uh, <clears throat> that's the final on it. All this is gonna get exhaust wrapped. I know I should paint it too, but I know uh, <clears throat> more likely I'm gonna be redoing this. So anyways, I'm gonna go under the car and I'm gonna see how this fits up and keep doing some mock-up. I'm hoping this mocks up right. See what I got is it comes from the X pipe, you know, two different ones. And then I'm gonna have to, this pipe's gonna have more bends in it. I'm hoping this one goes down and it's gonna shoot in to that other one that I wrapped last week, that outer wrap. And uh, we'll have to make the bends for this inlet right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that. Like I said, uh, the wastegate, um, all's the welding I'm gonna do that. And this is, uh, I don't know if this is gonna work with flux core. I'm gonna go ahead and try to tack it because that sits awful nice on there. Perfect one and a half inch. Uh, it's basically a tile without uh, <clears throat> the precision machine work. So I took it apart, I cleaned it up, and uh, we'll see if it works. Okay, so no, I'm not gonna make you watch a whole bunch of welding. I may z -z -z tack it up and uh, show you the finished product, but no. We're not welding the whole thing on film. Thing right here, I'm using that to hold my pipe for my dump. This helmet I bought off Amazon uh, doesn't get dark enough. I'm seeing spots. You know, my wife says I'm cheap. And sometimes I probably make life harder being cheap, but sometimes being cheap means you have a better bank account. So, I don't know. I guess with the car, I shouldn't be cheap. I should probably get a welder and gas, but it's like a thousand dollars. All right, guys, I'm gonna call it quits for today. Uh, been another long weekend and my wife needs help making business cards. So I'm gonna go do that. I might get back out there and fab a little more. I mean, the hot side is just so close to being done. It's so close. And uh, then it's just a few more parts. Wait for my new bank card so I can start ordering some stuff again. and. Uh, we're gonna let her eat. See y'all later. He done burned the tires off that sucker, but I damn almost missed half of it because I was trying to run and grab.